here till 12 today. Now, you've heard the phrase, charity begins at home, but have you ever come across one charity helping out another? Well, that's the case with the Gloucestershire charity Emmaus, who use money generated from social enterprise to buy, cook and prepare food for homeless people at a night shelter in Gloucester. And our reporter Faye Hatcher spent the evening at Gears Night Shelter in the city. squash, sausage casserole, a few chips and some mixed vegetables and a baguette to dip in for the gravy. Tonight we're cooking for the residents at the night shelter. Um, on average we have about 20 come through. Every Thursday evening we provide a good meal for them. How did this all come about? It started about, well it's actually, tonight is the anniversary. It started a year ago. I moved into Emmaus in the April, discussing with the community manager, really, who is still there, Karen. We sort of identified it would be good if companions go back to the night shelter and sort of give a little bit back. You know, we have plenty of time. We are a working community. And it took sort of three months to get it off the ground. And we've not missed it in a year, you know. I say we're residents, but in Emmaus, we're companions. That's somebody who moves in who is homeless, you move into an Emmaus community, you work for the community, whether it's in the shops, you know, I do the cleaning and the cooking in the house, and in return you get an allowance, you get your bed, and all the support you need from a support worker or community manager. And what's your background? I was married, I lived with the same person for 23 years. Uh, for whatever reason, we split up. I moved, well, I stayed where I was, she moved out. I started living on my own. It took about eight months to realise I was paying quite a bit out for my daughter. I'm not managing. I came into the night shelter when I ended up homeless. They told me I had a breakdown, I don't think I did. But I just walked out on my job, my home, went to a friend in Bristol, a couple of weeks being uncomfortable, whatever in the way, went to Cheltenham, I don't know why, and then I had a week on the street in Cheltenham, walked over to Gloucester because I was advised to for the shelters, or Worcester, came to Gloucester, I tried for about five nights to get in here, got in on the fifth, sixth night, and about three, four weeks in here, and the day centre that works with the night shelter, day centre staff recommended a mayor's to me, so I went up, had a chat with the community leader, you know, I wasn't sure, but I thought I'd give it a go, and been here 16 months and I love it. Have they changed your life then? They've made me realise just how lucky I am going from one extreme to the other but seeing a different side of life that I've never ever have, you know seen before. The night shelter, the, what the staff do, the great people that come through the shelter and you know for that month I was sort of walking the streets in the day and because I was with a crowd that's from the shelter, that are known, everybody is discriminating against you because they're looking at you and, you know, you're not welcome in this shop. And, you know, as soon as you walk in, the eyes are on you. And I, it sort of woke me up. And I thought, yeah. Jesus, is this what you, and you do? Is this what you go through? I came back, started doing a bit of cooking, you know, and I think it may have just made me realise I'm so lucky. You know, and what I went through when I looked back was nothing. It's, it's probably the best thing that could have happened to me as a person because I am a different person altogether now. I was, you know, working for years, earning decent money, and I was a selfish bloke, I've got to say it. I didn't, you know, think about anybody else but me, my kids and my wife, which you'd say isn't a bad thing, but I never thought of people that are worse off than me. In a mayor's, you do. Are you seeing the person you described earlier coming through the door? In, in other people, are you seeing you see perhaps the, time, the, the place where you were at yeah. a few months ago yeah. and you've got through it? Are you, are you recognising that in yeah. the people that we come through the We see it all the time. Yeah. We see it all the time. And what we do, the good thing about Emmaus being here is <laughs> we're taking, you know, residents from here into Emmaus. You know, they go through a referral system. But a lot more have come since we've been coming down here, which is brilliant. We've got probably five guys here now and a female that's come through the night shelter. That is, if, if, if in a year, one person would have come up to Emmaus, 
by us being here and explaining, you know, we're not just cooking, we're explaining where we're from, what we're all about. If one comes in a year, that's better than none, isn't it? My name's Richard Mills. Nice to meet you, Richard. Can I just ask how, how you ended up here? I used to work for Travellers. Uh, it's a good way of getting cash in hand. Up until a couple of weeks ago, I'm not, I knocked that on the head. This, enough was enough. Uh, various reasons, really. Uh, but, but anyway, and so look, I'm homeless on the streets, and uh, this place is a great little place to stay. Little safe haven. Yeah, it is a little safe haven. Everyone is checked as they come in. Uh, there's, there's no drink or drugs al allowed here. Uh, otherwise, you're out for myself. I've had a problem with drugs in the past. So see, it's, it's a good way of... Uh, you know, keeping safe in in that way. So you know yeah. you're in a safe place, it's secure, yeah. and you've got a roof over you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's talk about the food then. Okay, uh, all right. Because you're vegetarian, aren't I you? I am, yes, yeah. yeah. So do you yeah. get special special requests? Kind of, a lot of, the, the yeah. So, sometimes uh, uh, my plate is overfilling, whereas then the others do complain. But um, no, look, uh, they do a great job with what they with the resources they've got. Uh, mainly it's a meat dish for uh, everyone. I'm the only person who doesn't eat meat. Uh, so, um, you know, I, 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 I suppose I could be a bit of a problem for them. But th they sort it out every night. Uh, and I get a sandwich in the daytime as well. So, look, it's, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't complain. The food is... Food's all right. I've had no cause to uh, shoot off to the hospital yet anyway. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's good. It is good. He was saying that in front of the chef as well. Um, fascinating to hear that. Uh, it's Richard who is homeless and he's talking about the service provided by Emmaus who cook food for people who are homeless at the night shelter in Gloucester. You also heard from Jav there as well from Emmaus, the charity, who was homeless himself, went through the whole situation, is now working as, as a cook. Uh, a little bit more later on, after uh, 11 today, from the charity Emmaus and also Gear, the night shelter. And the, the chap who's in charge of Gear wrote quite um, uh, an interesting letter to the Citizen newspaper recently. Uh, it's quite an angry letter in many ways, and he'll be popping in to talk about his thoughts uh, after the, the news as well. So that coming up later on this morning on BBC Radio Gloucestershire with me, Chris Baxter. One of the things we're going to be doing tomorrow uh, with Mark Cummings at breakfast and then through the morning, night or 12, is talking about the, f the flood three years ago and how people are coping nowadays. <laughs>